Hello, how do you like my turban? If you like Alibaba. If you don't know, what's up? The plan is to make a casual, vintage, basic veg wardrobe. And we already did the pants, one pair of pants. And today I wanted to do shirts because I've planned five shirts. But uh, walking in minus 30 degrees made me realize one important thing, mainly that it's cold as over here. So I decided to focus on the long sleeve blouses today, mainly the pussy bowl. blouses. Oh, horrible name. Don't ask me what happened to my head. Trust me, whatever is underneath this, it looks even worse than this itself. So hence the look. I'll be true to my role of using things that I'm currently not using to avoid buying things that become things that I'm currently not using. I'm gonna use a pattern that I bought approximately 500 years ago. Uh, last time I made it, I was um, two sizes smaller, but who cares about that, right? So I will be using this pattern and make as many blouses as I can possibly manage. But that will start tomorrow because today is a show. <laughs> because today um, there's no time. I'm just gonna go get ready and go to work. But tomorrow I have a day off and you know what that means. That means... Da -da -da. Da -da -da. It means a sewing marathon. The next day. Okay, it is currently 12.04. I'm giving myself 12 hours to finish as many blouses as I possibly can. I still haven't finished the, the mocha blouse, but I'm gonna have my coffee and then finish the mocha blouse. And if everything is all right, if I like the fit, I like how it feels on my body, then I'm gonna proceed to cutting out and sewing as many blouses as I possibly can in a span of 12 hours with some pee breaks, and a dinner break, and a snack break, and possibly a nap break. Show you the fabrics I got. My sewing studio is so cluttered that I have nowhere else to put them but here. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So the first fabric which I already had in my stash is uh, a very pale powder pink viscose. Then the same fabric in dark lilac. Look at them together. Cute. Next one I have a rest of the fabric that I used for my 1940s nightgown. I hope I have enough for one blouse. And another one in the same fabric very kind of bright pistachio. So that's the stack. I don't think I will use the white or black fabric. I think those I will leave for uh, sh the, the, the other shirts that I've, I've planned. But for example, this fabric and this fabric, I think I have enough of it to make both this blouse and a shirt. So let's go to cut out the fabrics. the heck happened but uh, I just finished cutting out all the blouse pieces and all the fabrics and this is what time it is. I don't have very high hopes for the rest of this video. <laughs> I only, I swear, I only took like a little break to play with Pinky and a little break to talk with my man and half a day is gone. I think we need to start about now. About five hours ago, I should have started sewing, but uh, let's go. Also, I have pinned so many things today that this is what happened to my nail. Wait, let me try to... F oh, no, that was not the... <laughs> Can you see my junky nail clearly? I hope, I hope so. This is what pinning all that fabric pieces did to my nail. So this is pretty much my modern tragedy. 
Let me also quickly talk about the strategy for the rest of the project since I'm running out of time quickly. It seems like I have a lilac pile and a green pile of fabric. So what I'm going to try to do is find two threads that can go well. One with this pile, one with this pile. For one fabric, the thread is going to be slightly too light or slightly too dark. But I hope that sewing two blouses at a time will kind of speed up the process. Okay, I found all the threads that I can go, I think can go with this fabric. And I think I can pull it off with the green fabric if I use this thread because it seems to go okay with both light and dark fabric but I don't think I can manage that with with uh, this sort because this thread goes perfectly with the light color it blends in nicely and this lilac threads thread goes nicely with this fabric but they don't go very nicely with the other one so I think I can get away with making two blouses at a time in green but this I have to do separately so <laughs> o'clock and I have finished two of the green blouses. I have finished the blouses minus the buttons on the cuffs that I haven't done yet and I'm pretty much done for the day. I think I will have to finish the other two tomorrow morning because um, I'm ready to say night night <laughs> for tonight. Good morning. It's the next day I feel like I really badly need to wash my grease bowl but before I do it I want to finish sewing. I have two more blouses to go, the pink one and lilac one. I'm giving myself four hours of sewing. I tried on the green blouses yesterday and oh, they're so nice to have on your body. I can definitely see myself living in them <laughs> from that one. I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get everything done in 12 hours yesterday but obviously things take twice as much time as I usually think they do. <laughs> so I definitely overestimated my own powers yesterday, but I'm glad I cut out everything all at once instead of like making one shirt and then cutting out another because at the end of the day, I had zero energy to cut out one more blouse. I will use a timer this time because I actually am really curious how long does it take to sew one of these blouses minus the cutting out. I have no idea where do I have a timer. Yeah, here you go.
turn back into a happy hoodie because it's cold. And uh, by the way, while I was changing into my happy hoodie, I realized this is like a second or third video that I'm making while not being in my PJs. So I'm growing. <laughs> I was just beginning to celebrate being nearly done with my blouse. I just have to put in the sleeves. The sleeves are done and I have to do the bow around the neck. Lord have mercy. And just as I was thinking, I'm almost done. I sewed the bow together and did not realize that I twisted it. Do you see what I did here? I cannot be asked to unpick the, this whole seam just to twist it around and sew it back together. So I'm just gonna unpick this middle seam and sew them other way around so that the rest of the things will be correct like this. And I'll just press it and be done with this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's see. Two hours and 21 minutes. So let's say two and a half hours to complete the blouse. Pretty much this is the part that's most finicky and takes the most amount of time uh, to complete. I was hoping to complete the blouse. Oh, hello, Pinky. Hi, baby. Come on. Come on. Hello. Hi, baby. I was hoping to complete the blouse in two hours, but it's okay. Two and a half hours. We can take it. One more to go. Opa, let me show you, Pinky. Oh, puju, puju. Hello, baby. Hello. Oh, you boy, you thank you. Mm. Thank you, baby. Are you having a nice day? <laughs> my baby. Who is my baby? Oh, so, so. Guys, I'm, I'm trying to film my, film my usual very disappointing reveal, but I kind of cannot focus because just before I pressed record, Pinky came home and he uh, he's hurt. I think he got attacked by another cat. We do have one very antisocial cat in the neighborhood that gets into fights with Pinky as often as he can. And... Uh, Pinky came home with tiny little scratches that I didn't get pay attention to because um, he often comes home with a little scratch here and there. But then I noticed he's bleeding from his paw and he's not resting another of his paws on the floor. So he's hurt. Um, I put him on the sofa now with his favorite blankies. So he's chilling. He's, uh, his, um, he relaxed a little bit once I put his favorite blankie around him. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. But yeah, I can see that he's in pain and he's not having a good time. Please send him some good wishes and keep your fingers keep your fingers crossed for him that he'll he will get better. Because I mean, it's I don't think it's serious. There wasn't that much blood, but still, I haven't seen him bleed that much before. So, it's disconcerting, disconcerting, disconcerting. So yeah, please send him some good wishes because he's not a happy boy right now. These are all the pussy bow blouses that I managed to sew basically in 12 plus 4, 16 hours. I'm sorry, in 16 hours. Oh yeah, I didn't show you the final count on the 
on the timer, but I still have it where I where I paused it last. Oh, actually, this is five hours, not four. 17 hours to make one, two, three, four, five blouses. I would say the project hit its mark because it's super comfortable and that's what it counts. <laughs> that's what counts in a casual wardrobe because the, the purpose of these is to like go shopping, go get the kids from kindergarten, go for a job interview. No, I'm not gonna go for a job interview, but the purpose of these is just to get a nice blouse that's comfortable, nice on the body, easy to move in, uh, to go about my very average boring days. <laughs> and I feel like the purpose is fully achieved. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. I, I think I'm gonna struggle choosing mine because um, the green ones have a different feel to the pink, pink purple ones on the skin, but they both feel really, really luxurious in their own way. The cutting out took me a little bit longer than it will probably take you because, or maybe not, but I refused to cut out most of the blouses in the way that was prescribed in the pattern, mainly to cut this as two piece and have one seam in the middle. Uh, because yeah, I just thought that doesn't look very nice. Uh, so what I did was, because I had a limited amount of fabric, I had to fold over a small strip of fabric, cut out the front bodice, and then fold it over again to cut out the back piece on a, on a fold and then sort of play around to find enough fabric to cut out the sleeves and the bow. Uh, the only shirt that I didn't manage to do it with was the darker green one. This one has a front seam and I mean now that I look at it it's not so quite so offensive so I probably should have saved my time and uh, just made the blouses with the front seam, but I, I don't know. I think it looks much better without the seam at the front. My final thoughts about the pattern. First of all, it's lovely. The blouses look feel really luxurious on my body. There is no pinching anywhere, so they're really comfortable. I'm definitely going to... I'm definitely going to wear these blouses on the daily. I do feel a little bit like I'm about to find a job in the office, but is that such a bad thing? I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like searching for a new job, so if you do work in an office, please let me know. Are you dead inside or is it okay? Because I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Willing to try. The only thing that I dislike about the pattern is the solution for the front. Well, it isn't closing for the f opening at the front and how it's solved with the pussy bow blouse. I tried a few different methods of uh, sewing it. Pretty much each blouse is made slightly differently and pretty much every single time I'm left with a little bit of a fraying edge, just open to the elements. So I feel like the longevity of the blouse is slightly compromised by some of the aspect of the uh, aspects of the pattern. Since uh, the main goal of this video was time and how many blouses can I sew in one go, uh, in a limited amount of time, I really didn't pay as much attention to the quality of the blouse of the, of the makes. Like usually if I had that amount of time to just make one or two blouses, I would definitely have invested my time into A, making uh, making French seams, and two, uh, doing the sleeves, uh, sleeve slit differently, and solving the issue at the front. I can show you this as a close-up. The problem is slightly covered by the, by the bow, but if you look closely here, I always try to catch as much as that raw fabric as possible into the into the seams of the bow. But still, this point, I, and yeah, this nail was lost to the process. <laughs> In this particular blouse, I managed to make a really tiny narrow hem over here, but I didn't manage that in all the blouses and that kind of doesn't look half bad, but there are some blouses that I think might start fraying over here. Let me tell you something about the fabric. Uh, according to this little clip from Stoffo Steel, today called Self Made, I bought this piece of fabric in 2019. This was just like a rest of fabric, like a last clipping of uh, a fabric roll. So I bought 1.03 meters of it and I managed to squeeze out a blouse out of it. It was a little bit tricky, but it was doable. I was just left with like tiny little, tiny little piece of it. So you can get this blouse with just one meter of fabric, but it is a little bit tricky cutting it out, just saying. Uh, I paid 80, 86 kroners for it, but what was really cool was the name of fabric and the modal. 
I've never heard of a fabric called Model, so I had to Google it. Model fabric is a bio-based fabric that is made from spinning beech tree cellulose. Model is generally considered a more eco-friendly alternative to cotton because beech trees don't require much water to, to grow and therefore the production process uses about 10 to 20 times less water. Why beech trees? I wonder that too. <laughs> Why beach trees? <laughs> but have you heard of model? I've never heard of model before, but now I'm obsessed with it and I want to buy everything model related or everything made out of that fabric. Pinky baby is falling asleep, so that's good. He will get better, won't he? Oh, baby. You know, you might say, you know, that's what you get for having an outdoor cat, and that's partially true. Like, you know, they do get hurt and you never know what happened to them. But the truth is, by the time I met Pinky, he was already a half wild cat and he would be like gone from the house for sometimes weeks on end. He, he's gotten better now that he, we made friends and we spent a lot of time together and he always knows that no matter what time he comes home and meows at the door, he will be let in. So he's gotten better at staying inside of the house, but still, when he wants to go out, there is no power on, in hell on earth. In hell on earth, <laughs> there's no power on earth or in hell to keep him inside because his instincts are just way too strong and he will go outside even if he has to dig his way out of through the paneled floor. It's probably been years since I've sewn this many items in such a short period of time and that's just because you guys are there commenting and keeping me motivated. So thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching. Bye.